and you or someone you love go to hospital, you probably expect to go in, get better, and go home again. But actually, one in 25 patients who come into hospital become unexpectedly and critically unwell, what we call clinical deterioration. Worse, one quarter of these patients that we identify as deteriorating won't go home. They'll die before they leave hospital. For these patients, we're intervening too late to rescue them before they go over the edge. I'm a registered nurse. A large part of my job in caring for the patients allocated to me is assessing their condition and making decisions about how frequently to measure things like their vital signs, blood pressure and heart rate, and ultimately deciding whether their condition is improving as expected or unexpectedly becoming worse. The decisions that registered nurses make can be the difference between life and death, but we don't know enough about the risks associated with clinical deterioration to make good decisions about this care for these patients. We need to identify these patients much earlier in their admission. There are a number of things that might help us to do this. We know, for example, that particular groups of patients are at higher risk of deterioration. Patients who are older, who are male, or who are in hospital for medical rather than surgical conditions are more likely to deteriorate. We also know that factors associated with the governance the systems and the structures of the healthcare system also contribute to or exacerbate the risks of deterioration. For example, deterioration occurs more frequently out of hours and over the weekend when the most experienced clinicians are at home tucked up in bed or down at the beach house. What we don't really know is how these patient characteristics and system factors interact to increase or decrease the risks for individual patients. In my PhD, I'll be doing two things. First, I'll be taking those patient characteristics and system factors and identifying the risks associated with individual patients at the time they first come into the hospital. The second thing I'll be doing is speaking to registered nurses working in hospitals about the system factors that they perceive to increase or exacerbate the risks associated with patient deterioration. Ultimately, this research will enable nurses, doctors, and other healthcare professionals to make better decisions about patient care so that you and your loved ones come into hospital, get better, and go home again.